growing up in a sports-minded family fueled Joel Small to reach for the top. He also had the height to back him up. Lots of sleep. That's what my dad always told me. He said, get your rest and you'll grow tall. So we always went to bed at a good time, got our rest, and, and we all ended up kind of being giants. Before rising through the volleyball ranks, the Crocus Plains grad encountered a stumbling block when he failed to make Manitoba's 2005 Canada Summer Games team. As a young guy, you know, trying to navigate where I'm going to play, what I'm going to take in school, what my future holds for you, it's, it's really, really hard. In a twist of fate, Small would play against the provincial team in an exhibition tournament, and his next opportunity was just around the corner. And that's where Russ Paddock kind of came up to me. I was in the corner hanging out with the guys after, and he tapped me on the shoulder. I turned around, and this big looming man just looked at me and said, Joel, my name's Russ. I got the coaching job in Brandon. Would you like to come play for me? We shook hands, and, and that was it. Russ Paddock, a former university and national team standout, was building the first ever Bobcat volleyball team for the start of the 2005-06 Canada West season. Small would also be following in his dad's footsteps. Lloyd was a BU basketball player in the 1970s. Yeah, well Russ had coached my brother at provincial team and I knew that he had played for the national team and he was a middle as well. So I kind of took that opportunity as, you know, I can probably learn a lot from this guy. And then coming home and, and being a Bobcat like my dad was, was probably the tipping point. Fast forward four years later, Small was a conference all-star and helped the Bobcats run to history as they qualified for nationals. We'd get so pumped up one point and then feel like we just got shot in the heart the next point. It was crazy. The emotions felt then still resonate today. It honestly was almost like an out-of-body experience. Small traded in blue and gold for red and white, representing the Canadian national team. The experience solidified his spot in the Brandon University Sports Wall of Fame. You don't know what to expect going into that room, you know, going up there to give your speech and yeah, you know, you get up there, you're trembling, you're in tears a little bit and it, it's bringing back all those emotions for me right now even. His connection to volleyball remains strong, now serving as head coach of the Assiniboine Community College Cougars. I wanted to coach and I didn't know if I would be a good coach or a great coach or a terrible coach. Um, so it was a bit of a leap just saying like, yeah, I'll give it a go for a couple years. And now, you know, that's a, a second program that I've grown to love and be part of. Grabbing the brass ring has always been Small's mentality. And life as a hometown Bobcat strengthened that outlook. Wearing the blue and gold was, was amazing. And you know, I got a year left, so maybe I'll wear it again one day. Are you still thinking about that? Uh, I'm getting pretty old at 34, but we'll see.